Hello. Welcome to Conrad Engineering. I'm Furkan. Today we will be introducing our GR4 and GR4 dual models to you. Our latest technology and our newest product. Right here we have our GR4 model, the sensor, main unit, charger and user manual of our GR4 model are all included inside this sturdy case. Let's take out our sensor from here. It can be separated into three parts, you could say. This is our first part, the sensor. Our device is very easy and practical to use. It is also very small, so it can be disassembled into parts. When you take the product out of its case, you can adjust it from here as you like. Once you find the setting that works for you, simply tighten the clamp right here. Once you've tightened it, this part becomes ready for use. We also have a connector right here. I align our sensor with these points and with a single twist, the sensor locks into place and our GR4 model is ready to use. This way, the GR4 becomes a gradiometer and a dual sensor device. With two sensors placed on the top and bottom, it can be used as a gradiometer. It's a very practical and beautifully designed device. Now we move on to the GR4 dual section. I simply twist the sensor here and remove it from this slot. When attaching the GR4 dual search coil, we first remove the sensor from here. Neat. After opening the case, we take out the handle from here. Let me show you. It can be used as a detector handle from here. And here is our search coil along with the handle mount. Let me show you right here how to attach the handle. You simply slide it in here along with the rail. If you wish, you can adjust it here according to your height. It's super practical, really incredibly practical and easy to use. After placing the handle here, you'll see a triangular attachment right here. Let's take our triangular attachment from here. Let me set it aside like this. I'm taking the triangular attachment from right here. Since it's already triangular, we can simply fit it onto the handle like this. Once we align the screw holes on both sides, we insert the screw from here. Then we tighten the handle from here. After adjusting it to your arm, you tighten it. Now we've installed our handle like this. Next, we have the search coil. Here are our warranty documents. Let's take them out. I'm taking out the search coil. This is our search coil. You can adjust or fold it as you like. If you wish, you can also tighten or loosen it from the knobs and screws here. We align the grooves and notches of the search coil here. And with a single twist, the detector section, the GR4 dual, is ready for use. It's really that simple and practical. Now let's move on to the GR4 device screen. Right now the magnetic sensor is attached. While the magnetic sensor is attached, you can see our buttons right here. Right, left, up, down. At the same time, by holding the middle button, you can power the device on or off and confirm selections. When you press and hold the up button for a few seconds while in the menu, it takes you back. When you press and hold the down button for a few seconds, you can mute the device. Now I'm pressing and holding the middle button for a few seconds and it immediately powers on the device. After the device powers on, let's go through the menus here. We have our 3D scan section, live scan section and pinpointer modes. These are the modes that will be used when the detector and coil are attached. There's also the file section and the settings section. Now I'm going back from here. From here I'm going to our 3D scan section, that is to the 3D scan section. I'm entering by pressing OK. Now let's do a quick demonstration here. As you know, we have the step section, the step part. The line section is our number of lines. Here you can either increase or decrease the number of lines as you wish, either to the right or left. Right below, in the direction section that you can see here, you can choose whether you want to start from the right or from the left. Just below that, you have the zigzag parallel option and the choice between automatic or manual. You make those settings here. Let me go ahead and set the lines to 4x4. I want to do a 4x4 search. It's already in automatic mode right now. I go here and when I press OK, it says start. When I press start, it begins on the first line and automatically takes a measurement at each step. Now I'm waiting for it to finish the first line. After finishing, it prompts us, asking if we want to start the second line. Right here, I would say, let's start the second line. I'm just holding a small piece of metal here. I'm doing this so that you can at least see the changes in the graphs. Here, we've now completed the scan of our second line as well. After moving to the start of the third line, we press OK again. This time, our device automatically performs a scan at each step of the third line here. You don't need to press any button, it's already done. We're moving on to the fourth line. When we confirm again here, it also performs the scan of the fourth line. Once our line scan is completely finished, meaning the entire scanning process is done, it shows scan complete and prompts you to open the results. From here, we can open the scan results. 
Here, you can review the images in 2D on the device's screen, and you can also view them in 3D using our G-Portal mode, that is, through our G-Portal app. Now, if you want to save the image from here, press right for save or press left for cancel. You can either press save here and then press OK, or just press OK here to exit. I'm exiting without saving. If I want to go back from here, since I'm already in the menu, if I want to go back, I hold the up button for 2 or 3 seconds. It takes me directly to the lower mode, in other words, back to the main screen. Here we have our live scan section. When I enter live scan, we have our graphs here. Here, let's hold a piece of metal again. This is the kind of response you can get from cavities or metals. The device shows the flow here in 2D like this. After seeing this, I held the button down for a few seconds again. After live scan, I open the pinpointer mode. After turning on the pinpointer mode, this is the kind of signal you'll see on metal. In empty cavities, you will get the opposite reading. These are the types of graphs that metal and void will generate. From here, I'm going back. After pressing and holding the back button for a few seconds, we're now in the files section, where we can see the image we just saved. After saving the image, it appears here in the files section. From here, we can examine our data in 2D. Now let's go back. Let's go to the settings section. Here at the top, there is a sound setting and also a vibration setting. Here we have the light setting, the language option, as well as the date and time settings. Everything is available here. I'm going back from here. Now, after attaching the detector coil, I'd like to show you how it can be used in detector mode and what it looks like on the screen. With your permission, I will attach the detector coil. Now our detector section is active. We have advanced detector and quick detector modes. When we enter here, it performs a calibration. After the calibration setting, this is our detector search screen. Here, if I wish, the device can distinguish between ferrous and non-ferrous metals, iron and non-iron targets. You can also adjust the ground balance from here. When you press the down button here, um, we can lower the volume. We can increase or decrease the sensitivity here. And here we have a feature called ground tracking. You can turn ground tracking on or off. We will explain this in detail, um, the longer version, in our training video. I'm exiting from here. What kind of response do we get when we hold any metal? This is how we'll start getting the responses. In detector mode, these are the kinds of responses you'll see. I'm going back from here. I'm switching to the detector quick search section. Our device is performing a calibration. At the bottom, we have the reset button, which you can use if you wish. When it detects metal, it will give the same type of response. But right now, I can't show any metal. Here, you can also adjust your settings in the same way. You can adjust the ground setting from here using the right and left buttons. If I want to go back from here, I just press and hold the back button for a few seconds and then use the up button to exit and re-enter. So, that's our detector mode. Now, I'd also like to show you the device through our G-Portal app. Let's open the G-Portal app now. Hello, now we're going to show our G-Portal app. We open our G-Portal app right here. Here in the Add Device section, we click on the Bluetooth icon. Right below here, um, the G-Portal app appears. We open it from here. After opening it, it connects directly to the device. When we tap start here, we establish our connection. Here at the bottom left corner, we have our home section. When we click here in the home section, um, we see our general settings like color adjustment, screen brightness, sound settings, and so on. You can see these here. Right next to it, we have the scan section. This is placed here for easy and practical access when you want to start scanning. From here, you can quickly adjust the settings and begin your 3D scan. When I press the middle button here, four icons appear. Here we can actually see the 3D scan, live scan, pinpointer modes and detector mode. Now our main sensor is attached to our device. When we go to 3D scan, this is where you decide whether to run it in automatic or manual mode. Start from the right or left. After setting parallel or zigzag from here, let's quickly lower this value and set it to 4x4. When we press start here, the screen opens right away. From there you can slowly begin and carry out your scan. This is how you carry out your search. After this is finished, you click save here. When you click save again here, the device immediately stores it to the file section here. Now let's move on to our second section right away from here. I'm going to the live scan section. Our live scan section is located here. Right after carefully calibrating the device again here, when we precisely move it to where the metal is located, our sophisticated device will distinctly change its color. Definitely here, um, the device will then proceed to perform its scan and this is precisely how it effectively performs the entire scanning process.
This is how the GR4 dual section works. It can be used directly as a detector. You can simply strap it to your arm here and use the product as a detector. This product can function both as a gradiometer system and as a pulse detector.